today and forevermore. What you do is what you do. My God, yes, Father. Mm -hmm. You never change. Beautiful till the end. Faithful God, I worship you. Mm. You're too faithful to fail me. Yes, Lord. Disappoint me. In my life. And I've come to realize. You're too faithful to fail me. Mm -hmm. Faithful to fail me. Jesus. Good morning, sister. Would you God bless you? How are you today? Morning, sister Phil. Arivik. Good morning. God bless you. Thank you for connecting. Sister Mildred, by the Spirit. Amen. Na da na na, ooh da da, yeah da da da. You are who you are yesterday, today and forevermore. What you say is what you do. Good morning, Sister Lopez. Sister Cecile, how are you? God bless you. Sister Karen, Mama Nana the Nana, by the Spirit. Sister Rosalind, God bless you. Good to see you all on the prayer line. How are you doing? How has your week been? I know you've manifested. The glory of God is revealing you. He's the lifter of your head. Your light is shining. How are you? God bless you. Sister Sibyl, by the Spirit. Sister Edith, God bless you. Good morning. Good to see you all on the prayer line. Sister Nomasa, Sister Pamela, Sister Stella, always a pleasure to see you all. Sister Nadia, Pershi Gold, how are you? Drop a comment. Let me know how you are. Praise the living God. Let's hear your exploits. Let's hear your testimonies. Let's big up our God. He is faithful. What he says he would do. Come on, give God praise. Good to have you online. You are welcome to Morning Cry and Family Day. If today is your first time, let's know where you're connecting from. Praise the living God. Sister Edos, God bless you. Good to have you. Sister Liana, Sister Yolandi, Brother Mosuda, Katie Jones, God bless you. Good to see everyone on the prayer line. Let me know how you're doing. God bless you. What a faithful God we serve. Too loving, too loving to leave us halfway. What he started, he's going to complete. Oh, that is why my spirit man is lifted. Because I know he's going to complete all in your life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Sister Dora, God bless you. Sister Chimwendu, good morning. Sister Irene, God bless everyone. Hallelujah. If today's your first time, you're welcome to Morning Cry. And it's family day. Yes, Sister Anna, God bless you. Maria, God bless you. Good morning. Yes, it's family day. God is interested in sorting our families out. Hallelujah. So can I ask that you share? Let the whole world know that God is interested in your family. Faith for your family. That's our theme for today. Praise the living God. Come on, let's share. Let's share to seven completion. What he starts, he's going to finish. Praise the living God. Come on, let's share, let's share, let's share. Tag somebody, send a text. Ring them, let them know that we are online. Hallelujah. When you've done that, come on, open your mouth and begin to bless the name of the Lord. Our faithful God, our dependable God, our hero, our healer, our deliverer. Just open your mouth. Come on, exalt his name. 
hey Calibranda, someone that is too committed to leave you. Somebody, hey Calibrando, Sendelebre, that loves you with an everlasting love. Somebody that is ready, ha <laughs> ha, hey Calibrando, to pull you out of the pit, to set you free from the dungeon. Come on, just open your mouth and bless the name of the Lord. Send him some hearts. Put in your comment. Come on, love the Lord. Come on, lift him up. Send him some top up. Father, we bless your name. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you adoration. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be magnified. You are worthy to be glorified. Come on, bless the name of the Lord. Brother David, good to see you again. Lekete, Eugene, all bless you. Natalia, we give God praise. Collins, you are welcome. Come on, open your mouth. Come on, bless the name of the Lord. Bless his name for a brand new day to experience him like never before. Bless him for all he's done, for delivering you, for keeping you, for saving you. For his word, he's watching over you. Lekotula Bragadesha, Mantele Prekete, we give you praise, we give you honor, we give you adoration. You are good. You are kind. You are faithful. Masha Talebre, Liga Dula Braha, Landa Labrada, Shatelebre, Iadada. We give you praise, Lord. We give you honor. We give you adoration. La Catalebre Godosha, Lendelebreha, Iadaga Doshe Ketula Braha, Mantolo Procotoa, Iekete, Liga Dula Braha, Masha Telebreha, Lentolo Pro. Come on, come on, bless the name of the Lord, children of God. Come on, lift him up. Come on, bless him. E kaledesha. Worship him. La katolo prokotun. Iadaga de shekete lebre. Mantolo prokoto ha iege dula bragado shendelebre. We give you praise, God. We give you all honor. We say let all dominion. We say let all power. We say let all majesty oh be ascribed only to you because you deserve all our praise. You are worthy, O oh God. We thank you for everything. We exalt you. We lift you on high. We say come and have your way in our meeting. E kalu brando shendelebre. Come and move in our midst. We ask for an open heaven. We ask for a touch today. We ask that you feed us. We ask that you hear our cries. We ask that you come to our aid. We ask that you touch and deliver our families. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Come on, say a living amen. I say, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. God bless everyone. Thank you for connecting today, wherever you're connecting. From I see you, I love you, and God loves you more. Praise the living God. You're welcome to Morning Cry. And today's our family day. Hallelujah. It's a family service. So I'd like for you to invite somebody. Invite every member of your family. Tag them. Put their names in there. Let them know that it's family day. Do you hear me? And if today is your first time, warm welcome. Good to have you in our midst. What a privilege. Can we know that today is your first day and where you're connecting from? We'd like to acknowledge you and we want to pray with you at the end of the service. First of all, we're going to take some prayer points before the word. And we're going to stand in the gap for our nations. I want you to stand in the gap of that nation that nation that you are in and stand in the gap for the nations of the earth. The Bible says in Psalm 36 verse 5 God bless you. Come on, let's share. Seven people. Come on, share, share, share. Psalm 36 verse 5. King James Version says, Thy mercy, O Lord, is in the heavens and thy faithfulness reached unto the cloud. That is how mighty our God's mercy his faithfulness towards us is. So we're going to ask that he will show our nations oh, his mercy and save and deliver us. We all know what is happening in the world. We all know what is happening in the nations, one issue or the other, social issues, economical issues, pandemics, natural disasters. We need 
God's saving grace. We need his mercy. I want you to put up the nation of the put up the names of your nations and I want you to put up yes all their names and then let's stand in the gap with one accord agreeing that the Lord's mercy will be poured forth will be showed forth for our deliverance let somebody open their mouth and say show forth your unending mercy to the nation's Lord and heal and deliver us in the name of Jesus open your mouth God bless all of you sending stars you shine and shine your light has come forth. God bless you. Open your mouth. Show forth your unending mercy to the nations, Lord. Heal and deliver us. Come on, open your mouth. Our nations need healing. Our nations need restoration. Our nations need deliverance. Lord, my God. Lord, show forth your mercy to United States of America. Ekalibrando Sendelebre. Show your mercy, O God, to Antigua, O to Fuji, to the Philippines, to Jamaica, to St. Thomas, to St. Martins, to Nivi, to Jamaica, to Dominica, Ekalibre do Sundalibra, to Grenada, Latalabra, to Cameroon, to Cyprus, to Nigeria, to Pakistan, to Belgium. Belgium, to India, to Israel, to Iraq, to China, to Korea, Leko Tulabra, to what? EA, UAE, to Spain, to Germany, to France, to Italy, to United Kingdom. Lord, show forth your mercy. Show your mercy, O God, to South Africa. Show your mercy, O God, to Botswana. Show your mercy to Malawi, to Zimbabwe, to Congo, Eladasha, to Cameroon, to Ghana, to Sierra Leone, to Libya. Uh, to Liberia, e calibre, yata labrada, to Guinea, mashandele brendo santi labra, to Haiti, to all the nations of the earth. Lord my God, pour out your mercy. Heal us, restore us, heal our economies, heal our social system, heal our healthcare system, heal our political system, heal, oh God, us, heal our land, heal our nations, deliver us from COVID 19. Oh, have mercy on send you. Have mercy on Namibia. Have mercy on Kenya. Have mercy, O God Almighty, on Uganda. Have mercy, O God, on the nations of the earth. On Kuwait, la katula bragadosha, lentele brede, iadada, la katula brando sendele pre, mantali braha, e kalaba, on Australia, on New Zealand, la tila braha, mashoko tula braha. Have mercy, O God, on Togo, le kotula braha, yekele Sierra Leone. Latali Brando Sandelebra Lagadesha Singapore have mercy pour out your mercy deliver us from COVID deliver us oh God from Ebola deliver us oh God from natural disaster deliver us from wars deliver us from social unrest deliver us from political unrest Lord have mercy open your mouth let the Lord have mercy we plead the blood of Jesus upon our nations to heal us to deliver us to set us free in the name of Jesus let the dead cease. let our economies be great again let our social systems be Restored, where we can live uh, with a sense of normalcy uh, in the name of Jesus. Somebody pray. All the nations of the earth, Lord, we ask, uh, show your mercy. Pour out your mercy, your unending mercy. Your hands are far reaching. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let the church say a living amen. We're going to take some prayer points in respect of our families. And I want you, as God has called you forth into his presence today, to stand in the gap for your family. Hallelujah. Stand in the gap for your family. So I would like that you take this prayer point seriously.
Look at your family and see the hand of God touch your family. If you're just joining in, you're welcome to Morning Cry and Family Day. I want you to share and let somebody be blessed. I want you to tag somebody in. Send a text, share, start watch parties because all our families, every family represented here would experience a touch from the Lord. Hallelujah. Psalm 78 verse 57. Psalm 78 verse 57 it says, But turned away and acted treacherously, like their fathers, they, they twisted like a deceitful bull. This was Israel. And the Lord was saying that they had turned away and they had acted treacherously like their fathers, that they were twisted and deceitful. Listen, there are some wicked acts. There are some things that are predominant in our lineage. We are going to deal with wickedness in our lineage. We are going to deal with wickedness in our families. The Bible says that they acted wickedly like their forefathers. Some of the issues that you're dealing with, you see them manifest and you think you can deal with them just by mere speaking. No, the Lord is saying that you deal with them in the place of prayer because they become in it. They become transgenerational. They've moved from, from the lineage. Wickedness. Some families are so wicked. No milk of human kindness. But today you're going to put an end to family wickedness. That has what flowed through your lineage. Oh, calibre dosha. Even the Lord recognized their wickedness. Moving from one generation to the other. I want you to look at your family. What are those wicked acts? Leko tula bradasha. Deceitfulness. Mashatalebredo, hatred, innate hatred in your lineage ah, that cannot just be mended. Today I want you to be mad with the devil because those wicked acts lead to destruction. You're going to open your mouth and put an end. Let somebody say, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I put an end to generational wickedness deceitfulness and hatred in my family in the name of jesus somebody open your mouth you know what i'm talking about you see inert wickedness even from a child you see wickedness from no just place wickedness is moved from generation to generation today by the power of the holy ghost you put an end to generational wickedness hatred and deceitfulness the bible says they are twisted like a deceitful boar. Open your mouth and pray. Ishatali brandosa, mantale prekete, iadagada, latolo prokoto, ashetelebre. I put an end to generational wickedness in my lineage. Likatula braha, latata, generational twistedness, generational deceitfulness. In the name of Jesus, I put an end to generational hatred in my lineage. Latolo prokoto, open your mouth by the power of the Holy I say an end right now. It stops its flow. It stops its assignment. It stops its operation in your family. Every family represented here. At the sound of my voice, I command an end in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth. Mashaka Tula Bragados. Lekete le preko tula braha, iya daga do shoko tolo braha, latali braha, iye ke tula braha, mantolo brodosha, e la dadisha, zunda lubragada, an end to generational wickedness in my family. Leko tula braha, mantolo brondosa, iye ke tele desha, zunda lubragada sha, mantele preko toha, leke tula braha, iye de de desha, zunda lubraha, latatata, in Jesus. Jesus name we pray. What's still praying? That generational wickedness leads to what? Generational affliction. 
generational backwardness satanic patterns i want you to pray seriously i want you to take it to the next level because some of the acts they've done some of the yes the practices have led to affliction have led to satanic patterns have led to bloodline issues have led to strongholds i want you to take authority over them i want somebody to say right now <laughs> We're not talking about tomorrow. We're not talking about in a few weeks' time. We're saying right now. Are you ready? Open your mouth and say right now. I bind every generational stronghold, generational bloodline pattern moving in my lineage. What are you waiting for? Seize in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth. Seize in the name of Jesus. Lakatolo brodosha iyadagadula bra mentele prekoto. Open your mouth and pray. I bind by the power of the Holy Ghost right now. Every generation, stronghold, bloodline issue moving in my lineage. You seize in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth. I bind. Some of you in your family, the spirit of rise and fall, I command, it ceases. In the name of Jesus, Latali Braga, the spirit of backwardness, the spirit of poverty, the spirit of frustration, Lekotulaba, marital failure, marital hardship, barrenness. I command those patterns, they break in the name of Jesus, they break up. Lakatalo Brogodosha, Iyeteke Tulabra, Mantale Prekete. Iyadaka tula braha matolo prokoto ha eyadada da iyada brakato mantele prekete ashata liba open your mouth and pray come on liga dula bra those patterns in your family the stronghold that's held your family bound today in the name of Jesus I command the break ha e kalede break ha liga do the seas mashata laba I put an end leko tula bra in waywardness, wastedness, ikatula brada, lentolo brondosa, zandale breha, ekata, the spirit of premature death. What is he waiting for? Yes, he sees it right now. He kills no more. Latala brados. He wastes life no more. He wastes destinies no more. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth. Likatula bradosha, eladada, mantolobro. What is in your bloodline? What is predominant in your family today? I command. It ceases. Open your mouth. Come on, call them. Yes, list them. Latale prekoto, iyadada, matolobrondosa, eyadada. That spirit of barrenness moving your family. Ashendelebre. That spirit a calibre of waywardness moving in your family that spirit of imprisonment every man in the home they go to prison i command he seizes right now that spirit of prostitution as chandelibre that spirit of illegitimate illegitimate children i command it sees ashe delebre mantolo brondosa the spirit of rise and fall it breaks la calaba wasted years wasted days ashe delebre frustration i command today let it cease it breaks e calubra mantale prekete zandale brendosa iadadata zantele prekete zatulabra in jesus name was he my God, my God, if you're just joining, welcome. I see you. God bless you. La Tula Bragada. If today's your first time, let's know where you're connecting from. You are a morning cry, and it's our family day. We are taking time to pray for our family. We are taking time to deal with the issues in our family. So I don't want you, yes, to give up right now. I want you to open your mouth and stand in the gap for your family. Listen to this Isaiah 8. Nine, King James, come on. Laka tula ba. If you've not shared, come on. I want you to hit that share button. Let somebody's family be liberated. Isaiah eight nine, King James. He says, "Associate yourself, O ye people, and ye shall be broken in pieces. And give ye, O ye far countries, hmm, guide yourself." <laughs> 
and ye shall be broken in pieces. Ah, guide yourself, and ye shall be broken in pieces. Who has associated themselves against your family? <laughs> Who has given ear to your family for destruction? The Bible says, O ye far country, a katula bradashe, lekete, they are ringing themselves all around the country, all around the nations, asking about your family, wanting to pull your family down. Ashatale bregodula bragadoha. Today the Bible says, let them associate themselves. Let them come together. They will be what? Broken into pieces. Irredeemable pieces. Ashetelebre. They should give their ears, but they will be broken into pieces. Ah, they will speak the word. It will not come to pass in your life. Let somebody open their mouth. Ekalubra. And say, Father, in the name of Jesus. I decree the destruction of every satanic opposition against the manifestation, against the rising, against the lifting of my family now. In the name of Jesus, come on, open your mouth and pray. Where they have associated, where they've spoken, where they've gathered, where they are planning against your manifestation, against the manifestation of your family, against the lifting of your family. Against the rising of your family, ascend the labor. We decree their destruction in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth. Mashanda lebrendosa iada da da lekotula bra mantele bre. Are you praying? Open your mouth. Liga dula braha mentele brehe zatula braha iye tekete zatula braha Father, in the name of Jesus, I decree destruction, utter destruction against every satanic opposition, against the manifestation of my family, against our lifting, against our rising. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. La cata la bradosha, iete kete, linda lubradosa, mantale prekete, la gadula bragadosha, e yadada, matolobo, where they've spoken the word against us, where they've gathered, where they've associated, where they are planning, where they are plotting, I command their utter destruction in the name of Jesus. They are broken into irredeemable pieces. Ashendelebre, mantolo brodosha, iada kata, lentolo brodosha. Landolo bro, elada ha, mentolo bro, where they are gathered against your children, against your spouse, against a kalubra, your siblings, against a labrado, your parents, mantele precotuaba, iada gada, we decree and declare, lendo lubra, destruction, ashata laba, destruction, lekotolo bro, destruction, machanda le preketing. Ishatu la bragadosha, mantolo bregedeha, iada dada, iada bragado, mantolo prekete, open your mouth and pray, utter destruction, liga dula bra, in Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Father. Maka lebre, what's you praying? Hey, they are gathering and plotting. They want your children to cause you pain. They want your children to cause you grief. Every parent at the sound of my voice that is crying, that is weeping, that is anxious, that is worried about any child, you're going to pray this way. Turn with me to Genesis 26, 34 to 35 NIV. Genesis 26. 34 to 35 NIV says, When Esau was 40 years, <laughs> oh my God, an old man, <clears throat> not a spring chicken, he decided to bring grief to his parents. That devil is a liar. A child will not be doing well and all of a sudden will cause you pain. Hey, Ella Bagodo will do the very things that you oppose, Salfa. Makatele Preko. He says, when Esau was 40 years old, he married Judith, daughter of Beri the Hittite, and also... Base Math, daughter of Elo the Hittite, they were a source of grief <laughs> to Isaac and Rebecca. My God, huh? hey, 
Elada, his acts cause them grief. I don't know what act a child has done, a family member has done that is causing you grief. We reverse it by fire. Elada, I say we reverse it by fire because my Bible and your Bible says in Psalm 127 verse 3, children are a gift from the Lord, a reward from him. They are not supposed to cause you pain. They are supposed to cause you joy. A, a gift to make you smile. A gift to make you happy. That devil is a liar. Open your mouth and say, my children are a gift from the Lord. Any power from hell that wants them to be a source of grief is destroyed in the name of Jesus. They are a blessing. They are a solution. Open your mouth and pray. Come on. Mashakatolo brodo seketeha. Iyada bakatolo bro. La da 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 da. Iye te kutu la brandosa ma telebre. La gadu la bra. Iye ke tu la bra godo shendelebre. La ta 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 ta. Ma tolo bro godo sa. Eya da da. Le kutu la bra. Ma tole bre gede ha. La gadele bre koto. Iya da 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 da. Me telebre ha. Ma tolo bro godo sa. Eya da da. La gada da bra. Ma tolo bro godo sa. Eya da da. Opu ya maram bre. I say open your mouth and pray Jantele braha Iye toto My children Are a gift from the Lord E kalubra gade shekete E die for Any power from hell That wants them to be a source of grief A source of pain Is destroyed in the name of Jesus They are a blessing They are a solution They are a source of joy Open your mouth and speak over your children Liga dula bradosa Mentele prekete La tolobro, call them one by one. Eh, la ba, you will hear my voice. You will not hear the voice of a stranger. You will not cause me pain. You will not cause me grief. You are a source of blessing. Eh, kalubra, you're a solution. La talabra, you're a gift to be cherished. You're a gift to be valued. La tolabra, godo shendelebre, iya da 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 da, mantelebre. Your children cannot be manipulated. La talebre, lendelebre, they cannot be influenced. My children will not break my heart. Some parents here, your hearts are broken. That devil is a liar. That manipulation ceases. In Jesus' name we pray. What's he praying? My God. Liga da 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 sha matolo bro Isaiah eight eighteen amplified. Eka li ba ba ba. We're gonna speak over our families. You're gonna speak over yourself. The Bible says in Isaiah eight eighteen amplified. It says, listen carefully, children of God. The Bible says, listen carefully, so that you can take it in and rewrite every lie that the devil has told you. He says, listen carefully, I and the children whom the Lord has given me are for signs and wonders that will occur, that will happen in Israel for the Lord of hosts who dwells on the mountain. Listen, you and your family, you and your household are for signs and wonders that will occur because the Lord of hosts dwells in you. You are manifesting. That is why this week is our week of manifestation. Signs and wonders are visible. Signs and wonders are not hidden. Do you hear me? Oh my God, I don't know what lie. I don't know what has happened to your family that they've ostracized you. Hey, they've isolated you. They've said things about your family. They've called you names. They've relegated you to the background. I'm here to announce an end to that affliction. An end to that pattern. An end to the movement of Satan in your life. You and your family, you and your children are for signs and wonders. My God, in your generation, visible for all to see. Let somebody open your mouth. I want you to put your family name in there. A Kaluba I and the Chukwe and Ekeledo family. We are so signs and wonders in our generation. A Kalubra do Sendelebre. Lida Dada. Open your mouth and speak over your family and speak over your children. Liga Dula Braha. Leto Lobro. A generation. 
to show forth uh, the glory of God, uh, a generation uh, to manifest uh, signs and wonders, uh, great signs and wonders. Uh, they are visible. Uh, Latali bragado shendele pre iyada gadula bradosa iyada. You are for signs and wonders. Uh, you're not to be humiliated. You're not for affliction. You're not for oppression. Ekatula ba. You're not for the enemy to ride over your head. Uh, you and your family. Yes, the Isong family. You are for signs and wonders. Uh, the Dube family, you're for signs and wonders. The Emelu family, you're for signs and wonders. Abayomi family, you're for signs and wonders. Jenny and her family, you're for signs and wonders. Natalie and Daniel, you're for signs and wonders. Ashak Dulabra, yes, Afri Rosalie Wilson's family, your family and yourself are for signs and wonders. A Calibra, Sister Lillian, Ela, Sister Jen, Sister Judith, your family, you are for signs and wonders in the name of Jesus, not for oppression not for affliction not for humiliation but to show forth the glory of God signs a visibility the Lord will use you and your family greatly your brother David you and your family are for signs and wonders open your mouth and speak my children are for signs and wonders my spouse is for signs and wonders I am for signs and wonders. My siblings, my parents, we are a family for signs and wonders. Each and every one of us do well. No black sheep. No one is bringing us down. No one is letting us down. We are lifted. The glory of God is revealed. We are for signs and wonders. Yes, Open your mouth. Speak over your family. You are for signs and wonders. Ekatula brado sendelebre for testimonies and breakthroughs. Ashandalabra for victories. Letula brada sendelebre a record center. Matalebre voices to be heard. Forces to be reckoned with. It cannot be relegated to the background. Cannot be ignored. Ekatula bragadosha mentelebre de signs and wonders. The spirit of rise and fall is broken. The oppression of the enemy. Is destroyed, you are being revealed, you are coming forth. A catula bragadosa, mentele prekete, latula bradosa, mandolo brogodosa, ia dagada. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Father, we thank you. My God, last prayer, prayer, we're going to pray for the sick in our family. Mm. No one, we don't leave no one behind. Everyone is rising. Everyone is being revealed. A color, one person being sick can bring a whole family back. What can let a family down? That devil is a like liar. You and your household are all healed. Jeremiah 30, verse 17. GNT version. Come on, last prayer point. Marte Libra good. Signs and wonders. No one is going to be sick. Nobody will be afflicted with sickness. Thank you, Lord. Jeremiah 13, 17, Gente says, I will make you well again. I will heal your wounds. Though your enemies say, Zion is outcast. Though your enemies say that your family is an outcast. Oh, no one cares about your family. When the Bible says, I, the Lord, have spoken. Oh, the Lord will heal the Emelu family. The Lord will heal Gloria Ruth's family. Oh, the Lord will heal anyone. Sister Dora, your mother-in-law. Hey, Sister Jen, your mom. Sister Victoria Chinyere, your mom. Hey, Dickness Lucy, brother Tom is healed. I don't know who is sick in your family. But the Bible tells me here. Hey, Kato, that he will make them well again. Oh, he will heal their wounds. He will shut up the mouth of your enemies. Because he has spoken i want you to yes pray in faith and say after me we lift up every member of our family that is sick and we command an end to the affliction and 
end to their sickness and end to their infirmity generational sickness moving in your lineage right now we command an end the lord heals you the lord makes you well the lord restores you in the name of jesus come on open your mouth and pray we pray for the sick in every family we command sister rosaline your dad is healed of glycoma in the name of jesus brother david your brother is healed right now no sickness will dwell in your family you are for signs and wonders you're not for oppression you're not for affliction you're not to be sick right now come on lift up every loved one right now every family member sick we declare decree and declare we announce their healing a katulaba we demand their healing we command their healing ye kotula brando sendelebre come on open your mouth and pray christ has done it for them two thousand years we take it by force mashenderebre we enforce it in the name of jesus la gadula brandos ligadadasha matolobro sister mildred your sister marietta is healed irene is healed we call satan in the name of jesus Every generational sickness, Akalo Brondo is dried up. Makolo Bro, cardiovascular illnesses running in the family diabetes hiv hepatitis whatever sickness that you see in your siblings you see moving in your family that devil is a liar be healed we cause mental health instability in every family we pray for sunil we pray for sister angeli we pray for her father we command your healing right now in the name of jesus sister sabir we pray for you and your siblings you are healed in the name of Jesus. E Calobro, Sister Lillian, your mother is healed again. Yes, she's well again. Makati Labraha, Lekotu Labraha, Mentele Prekete, Zandulo Brodosha, E Yadada, Sister Dora, your mother in law is healed. In the name of Jesus, Latale Bradash, E Katula Bragodos, E Yadada, your grandsons, they are healed. Sister Flora Thomas, we command their speeches are restored. We cause learning disability. In the name of Jesus, Ashe de Lebre, Alabra, Suruzai, we command healing your body. Akele Predosha, Ilagadulaba, Sister Ruth is healed, Sister Kells, your sister is healed. Sister Gamaso, Sister Jane, Pastor Pell, we command their healing sister princess is healed dalcy roslyn carl we command their healing right now hey sister nono is healed ashaka to labragade lego do labraha man telebre auntie edith a hey, chris Fion, you are healed we command their healing in the name of jesus quenton shalom healed they are all healed. Brenda Thomas, Carol Jackson, Emery Jackson, Ricardo Thomas, we decree and declare. They are healed in the name of Jesus. Hey, Sister Isabella, the devil is a liar. You are healed. I want to pray for everyone on the prayer line that is sick. Thank you. <coughs> Excuse me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. The Bible says you will heal again. I don't care the diagnosis. Listen to me. I don't care what the doctors have said. What the doctors have said. I stand on God's word. And he says he will make you well again. They've casted you out. They've said your case. There's no remedy. They've given up on you. They said it's a long life aff infirmity affliction. But the Bible says I will make you well again. Toss says the Lord. I want you to put your hand where that infirmity is. If you can't, put it on your chest, on your head. And I speak over you as a prophet of the Most High God. And I decree and declare that you are healed from the crown of your head. Whatever infirmity that the enemy is planning, whatever infirmity they put in you, either through spiritual, either generational, either by association, wherever form is coming from, listen, I command is cursed. It leaves your body be healed in the name of jesus take your healing david take your healing everyone on the prayer line in jesus mighty name we pray come on give god praise felix is healed everyone is healed 
Come on, give God praise. Come on, celebrate the Lord. Let's thank the Lord for answers to prayer. Come on. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you all honor. We give you adoration. You are a good and kind and faithful God. Thank you, Lord. Come on, celebrate the Lord. The power of God is mighty. Our God is delivering our families. Our God, yes, is making us stars to shine. We are signs and wonders. Come on, celebrate Jesus. We thank you for everything. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Come on, church. Say a living amen. Hallelujah. I want to welcome everyone to Morning Cry and our family day. My God, what an awesome time already in his presence. I tell you, you're not here by accident. God has brought you here because he wants to touch your family. Praise the living God. And if today is your first time, please would like to know where you're connecting from that. Today is your first time. We want to acknowledge you and pray with you at the end of the session. So don't leave, like, and follow this page. Praise the Lord. And if you haven't shared, come on. Let's share, share, share. And let somebody be blessed. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. Listen, we are in our month. We're in the second week of the month. We're in our month of the spirit of faith for exploits. And we've been engaging in a faith challenge. To stir up our faith for these exploits. I want to encourage somebody, listen. If you've not started engaging in the faith challenge, I want you to engage. Because faith comes by hearing and what? Hearing by the word of God. As you engage in the faith challenge, your, your, your faith level increases for this mighty exploit that God has destined for us in 2020. So today's teaching, we're going to take it from our faith challenge text. Which is from Galatians 5, 6. I want to speak to us on it concerning our family. Praise God. So our theme today is what? Faith for my family. So if you're sharing, put on your timeline. Say, I've got faith for my family. Come on, put it on your timeline. Let the devil hear. Say, I've got faith for my family. I've got faith for my family. Hallelujah. I revic all the way from Armenia, you are welcome. God bless you. Put it out there. I've got faith. Come on, put it. Declare it and put it out there. I've got faith for my family. You see, you can't say that you're, you have faith and it doesn't impact or influence your family. Mm -mm 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 -mm. No. Charity begins at home. That's what the Englishman says. Your family is your first ministry. Your family is your first church. Don't be right, righteous outside and you can fix your home. No, that's an error. <laughs> that's an error. When we become born again, we need to try and impact the people around us. And the, the person around you, it's your family. The first person around you are your, are your family members, your household. You see, when Noah went into the ark, listen, the only people that were saved were his family members because they listened to him. He had a voice to influence them. And this led them from destruction. I want you to imagine, if he didn't have a voice to influence them, they would have died like the rest of the world. I pray for you today that you would have a voice to influence your family. Some of us, we are saved, but our family members are going to hell. That devil is a liar. Joshua said, I and my family will serve the Lord. You and your family will be saved. See, Genesis 7, 1, NIV says, The Lord said to Noah, Go into the ark, you and your whole family, because I have found you righteous in this generation. God recognized that Noah could influence his family. He says, go in, just you and your family. Because I found you righteous. In all the generation, his righteousness also extended to his relationship with his family. As you're born again, is it influencing and impacting your family? Hebrews 11, Julie, you're welcome. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hebrews 11, 7 says, by faith, if it's your Bible, I want you to underline, by faith, <clears throat> Noah went warned about things not seen. <laughs> 
in holy fear of righteousness. <laughs> no, sorry. Let's go back. By faith, Noah, when warned about things not seen, in holy fear, built an ark to save his family. By his faith, he was condemned. <laughs> By faith, he condemned the world and became heir, became heir of the righteousness that is keeping with faith. You see, he heard the word. He was not selfish. He spoke to his family. Some of us, we are even on the prayer line. We can't invite our family members. We are even praying. We are not praying for our families. We are blessing others. We are not blessing our families. No. The Bible says by faith, Noah, when one of the things not to see, in fear, holy fear, he built an ark to save his family. So when he was building, he also had his family in mind. Father, bless the reading of your word. Now let's go to our text for today. Galatians 5, 6, NLT. Galatians 5, 6, NLT. So anyone on the prayer line, you're not carrying your family along. That's an error. As you hear this word, you have to put your family together. God has called you. It, as the Joseph of your home, you need to sort your family together. Charity begins at home. Galatians 5, 6, NLT says, For when we place our faith in Christ Jesus, there is no benefit in being circumcised or being uncircumcised. What is important is faith expressing itself in love. Mm, 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 mm. Our text says here, when we place our faith in Christ, I'm talking about your faith that is placed in Christ, your faith that you're dependent on the Lord Jesus Christ. Say, Father, I go where you want me to go. I do what you want me to do. Noah, in faith of things not seen, in holy fear, he built an ark as commanded by God. He was dependent. Dependent on God. So our text from Galatians 5, 6 says, when we place our faith in Christ, I want you to understand. It says, place your faith. Place your faith. Let somebody say, place your faith. Place your faith. That means what? You rest in faith in Christ. It says, when you place your faith in Christ, norms and tradition become irrelevant. Or he was referring to circumcision and uncircumcision. He says it's of no benefit. It becomes irrelevant. But that we express our faith through love. Express your faith in love. My God. Oh my God. My God. My God. Is somebody getting something already? We cannot say we have faith. Placed in Christ now. Without expressing love. Oh yes. Oh yes. Because Christ is love. <laughs> he loved us even when we were sinners. And died that we might be saved. Therefore if you're placing your faith in him. If you are in him. You're a believer. Then we need to express love. And this love for our family. <laughs> Hallelujah, my God, my God. You have to express love for your family. You can't say that you have faith and you're not loving your family. No, 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 no. Traditions, norms, uncircumcision, where they are on the spectrum is irrelevant. Your faith is expressed in love. <laughs> I'm not going to give up on them <laughs> because of the love of God in me. He didn't give up on us when we were sinners because of the love he has in us. Listen, 1 Corinthians 13 verse 13, NIV says. Oh my God. 1 Corinthians 13, 13 says, NIV says. And now, these three remain. Faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of this is love. These three things remain. Your faith and your hope. That's your expectation and your love. But amongst these three, that faith is the greatest. Because when you have faith. <laughs> oh, sorry. Amongst these three, love is the greatest. Sorry. Because when you have love, 
<laughs> you can express your faith. When you have love, you will still hope against all hope. <laughs> love is encompassing. So therefore, if we say we have faith, we have to have faith for our family. For their deliverance. For their breakthrough. For their turnaround. For their change. For their establishment. For their manifestation, but express true love for them. The expression of your love will cause you to continue to believe in them. Even in a failing situation, you believe in them. Even in a hoping, hopeless situation, you will what? Believe for them. I can remember my immediate elder brother. He studied engineering. And he, was, he had applied for a job. And he didn't get that job with an oil company. And they came and gave him the results and he was quiet. You know when you finish um, your university, you finish your national youth service and you're waiting on the Lord, you're waiting for, you know, a job, you know, fresh graduate, you know, what is predominant now, people finish school and they don't have jobs. And he had gone for this interview and were quite expectant. And they came and told him, and that he failed. Oh, he was so downcast. So downcast. Then, my mom heard that somebody from where she was from was amongst the decision makers. And you know how kids are when it comes to their parents. No, you always embarrass me. You're always going forward. No, no, no. So my mom said, okay, let me go and speak to this man and find out how else we can approach it. My brother said, no, no, no. Ah, mommy, this is medicine after death. No, no, they've given the scores. You can't do anything about it. They refuse to take her. Do you know what? Listen, when you're propelled by love, do you know what? You don't get upset. You do what you need to do. She now had to go by foot, take public transportation. <laughs> they refuse to drive her. They refuse for anyone to drive her. I say, no, mom, you're going to embarrass yourself. You don't need to go and ask on my behalf. You don't, need, you don't need to do it. Do you know what? She went with public transport. A woman that wouldn't normally do that. She went and met this man. This is for somebody else's thing. <laughs> somebody that had given up. Somebody that was upset with her. Someone that didn't believe she should go the extra mile. Someone she was doing a favor, the person was resisting. But because of the love, she went and met that man and asked, Oh, my son did your test, but they've said he's failed. What can we do? The man has said, oh, Okay, oh, you're from my place. Oh, don't worry. That exam he did was even the lower cadre. There is another one coming up. Let him put himself forward and we will see how we can help and support. Do you know what? That's what happened. They put him forward for that second assessment and he passed and do you know what he became an international staff in that oil firm but he was propelled by love love that i believe in you love that i believe for you love that i am not giving up love that even though you're fighting me i will do what is right for you <laughs> this week we looked at james 2 17 in the same way, faith by itself, if not accomplished, accompanied by action, is dead. You can't say you have faith without action. She had faith for them. Do you know what? She still went. Irrespective of them resisting her. Irrespective of them fighting her. She went. <laughs> Your faith in love will cause you to continue to pray and fast for them. Your faith in love will continue to push and you will not let go. You will not give up. You will continue to do which is right for them. Your faith would be expressed through love in action. You will not sit back and see what you can do for a family member and not do it because they've upset you. Because you are not on the good on a good side. In that season, you will still do what is required of you. Faith in love. Express through your action. You will go out of the way for them, even when they are fighting you. You will do all that you can do because you are expressing the faith that you place in Christ through love. Not just any faith. Faith in Christ. 
The world has faith. They believe in themselves. That's their faith. But we are talking about faith. We are placed in Christ. It goes the extra mile. Because you believe with no shadow of doubt the efficacy of God's word. Now I'll end this with this. First Thessalonians 1 to 3. Thank you, Father. First Thessalonians 1 to 3, GNT. It says, For we remember before our God, our Father, how you put your faith into practice, how your love made you walk, and how your hope in our Lord Jesus Christ is firm. Can you remember 1 Corinthians 13, 13 says, <laughs> These three remain it, faith, hope, and love, but the greatest is love. And now 1 Thessalonians 1, 3 says, For we remember before our God how you put your faith in practice, faith with works, how your love made you work so hard. Your love will make you work hard. For the benefit of your family, not to pull your family down. And he says, how your hope in our Lord Christ Jesus is firm. Your hope, believing for the best for your family, will keep you firm in your belief. Will keep you firm in doing what is required for you. You will not give up on that son. You will not give up on that marriage. You will not give up on your spouse. You will not give up on your children. You will not give up on your siblings. Because your faith is expressed in love. The Bible here says in that first Thessalonians 1 3. I want to leave this with you. It says, For we remember before our God and Father. This is what you will be remembered by. He's telling them there, say, We remember by God and the Father. That means there is a witness of your faith expressed through love in action. Yes. So now I want to ask you. As we are saying faith for our family, the faith I have for my family, I express it through love. I will not, I, my faith for them is for their manifestation. So what I will continue to love them despite some resistance, despite some issues. I will continue to pray for them. I will put my faith in action and so that I can be remembered by it. So what are you going to be remembered by, good or evil? Are you going to be remembered by that minister that born again, that preached outside, but their family was left in captivity? Don't save others without saving your family. Yes, we say yes, a prophet is not recognized at home, but your faith in love will continue to make you pray for them, intercede for them, seek the face of the Lord for them. Hallelujah. So I'll leave that with you. Today is our family day. I want you to reflect on how your faith for your family has manifested in our lives. Do we say we have faith for our family to come out of obscurity and we're not expressing it through love and in action? No. It must be backed up by your love for them, expressed in love in all that you're doing. What you can do, you do for your family. That's faith. That it would get better. That there will be a change. That is not just a pit that will be wasted. Some of us don't invest in our families because we think it's a wasted venture. No. When you have faith, you will know that it's not wasted. That God will come through for you and your family in the name of Jesus. Come on, just open your mouth and begin to bless the name of the Lord. Come on, bless the name of the Lord. Ah, bless the name of the Lord. I see many parents here sending prayer requests to us about their family members, about their children, about their spouses. And I want to encourage you, continue to do so. That is what you'll be remembered by. And those that have not seen it in this light and perspective, let this word bring knowledge to you that you need to have faith for your family, expressed in love in action in the name of jesus come on just open your mouth and begin to bless the name of the lord open your mouth and begin to exalt his name father i thank you for this word to open my eyes of understanding what faith for my family means what is required of me thank you father thank you lord in the name of jesus one prayer point quickly say father i pray for grace to have faith uh, for my family expressed in love. 
in action in the name of Jesus. I have faith. Oh God, I have faith for my family. Expressing love in action in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth. Mashada le brandusa. Le kotula brada. La katatada. Ma kotula brandusa. E yata katu shendelebre. Father, I receive grace. Yes, grace to have faith for my children. I will not give up. I will not throw the tower. Even when a kalubrando is a dead situation, I will keep pushing. I will keep going on. I will not give up on my marriage. I will not give up on my spouse. I will not give up on my children. I will not give up on my family members. In the name of Jesus, Father, lagadula bragadosha, leketula bragadasha, e kalubraba. Grace to express my faith in love, in action. I will do what is humanly possible. I will do what I can do spiritually. I will continually pray for the salvation of their souls. I will continue to pray for their deliverance. I will pray for their manifestation. I will pray for your blessings, oh God, upon them to be revealed. I will pray for knowledge. I will teach them your way. I will share the word of God to them. Open your mouth. You can be saved and saved alone. Lagadula bragadasha. Mantele prekotoha. Iete kutalabra. Mantono bro. Yes, Lord. A faith for my family. Lekotulabra. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name, I pray for every family going through a season of frustration, a season of affliction, and I command an end in the name of Jesus. Enter your season of liberation. Enter your season of manifestation in Jesus' name. Your family is blessed. You are blessed. Out of you, the nations of the earth, other families are blessed in Jesus' name. If you believe it, shout a ballistic amen three times. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Give God praise. Come on. Give God all the glory. We thank God. My God, your family is great. Oh, faith for your family. Your family will manifest as you prevail for your family. Through Christ Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Whoa, 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 whoa. I tell you, this is a message to go back and listen. Bible passages to go and reflect on. So that you will know how to approach issues concerning your family. The love of God is shared in you and your family forever and ever amen and amen praise god come on let's celebrate our first timers come on give god praise give god praise for all our first timers god bless you welcome thank you for joining us this is gin global intercessory network and you know what we're connected from all over the globe Every continent is represented here. And God has brought you here for a purpose, not by accident. It's a praying prophetic platform. And I know that the purpose God has for you and your family is already revealed in the name of Jesus. And you know what? We'd like to invite you to be part of this move. If you have a calling to intercede, where the message is pinned down there, there is a form. It's called GIM4. In GIM form, you register, we teach you God's word, and we teach you how to pray. If you believe DECC is your church, do you know what you need to do? You need to complete the form, and you'll be a registered online member. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And you'll join us in our evening global global zoom service praise the living god and if you have a testimony don't sit on your testimony share your testimony we give god all the glory my name is pastor kilich i'm on facebook live 6 a.m uk time 7 a.m nigerian that's what 8 a.m cats 12 midnight central 1 a.m eastern and 2 a.m jamaican time join us and you'll be blessed we also have another session lunchtime and midnight prayer with our geo pastor with you join in and the lord will bless you richly follow this page like this page follow me on youtube kelechi chukweke subscribe to my channel invite others and i tell you god has been good and we give him all the praise if you're on the prayer line you have not followed and you have not liked what are you waiting for follow and like if you've not shared share this broadcast let somebody's family be liberated in the name of jesus tomorrow we're back here for our deliverance friday and it's going to be a blast come with your water god is going to touch your life like never before i love you with the love of the lord i command the light of god shines upon you and your family in the name of jesus god bless you pastor kilichi morning cry <laughs>